Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Marlins versus White Sox Major League Baseball matchup on Sunday, July the 7th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK, get 15% off. We also have products meant for people that make big bets, people with big bankrolls looking for that VIP concierge style service. We offer these products. They're just not available on the website. They're still easy to get. You just got to text the number you see on the screen. So um, the thing is, this is our most expensive premium product. It's not a free pick line or free trial. We have premium picks on the website, which I bet mine every day. We have free picks here on YouTube and on the website, but these are our highest end. And if that's for you, text the number, but let's get to it. We've got the Marlins hosting the White Sox, two of my favorite teams. And of course, two teams not having very good years, but the, you know, we've seen at least some signs of life from both of them for the, uh, for the Marlins. Um, you know, the thing is, is that they had that miserable start to the season and, uh, you know, the bullpen just was absolutely horrible. But the bullpen has certainly been improving recently. As for the White Sox, well, you know, same same problems. This is really the worst start they ever had. But as the season's gone on, we started to see they have this very young pitching staff that's kind of putting it together. Jonathan Cannon is one of these young pitchers. He's 23 years old. He comes into this one. But he hasn't really been quite the same as the Crochets, the Thorps, and some of these other guys that we've seen. He actually checks in with a 4.62 ERA, allowing 44 hits through 39 innings of work. He's only walked seven batters, though, and he struck out 32. He's allowed seven home runs, which is a little to the high side for 39 innings of work and, uh, of course, 20 earned runs. We look at the way these teams are, are playing, and, you know, the White Sox, like I said, with Robert back in the lineup, a little bit of signs of life. And, you know, in generally in the American League Central, if you start slow, it's, it's usually okay because, you know, most of the division is usually terrible. But this year, you've got several teams above 500, and even the Detroit Tigers, who aren't at 500, well, still creating some sort of problem there for everybody. We look at the way these teams are hitting the baseball, and the White Sox hitting 237 versus right-handed pitching through their last 10 games, and 275 versus lefties. So they have really picked it up. And and the bullpen, which was horrible, horrible, horrible to start the season. This was a team that was like the king of the first five innings and the and the and the worst of the last four innings. 2.02 ERA for the bullpen over their last 10 games, while the Marlins 4.09 for the pen over their last 10. The Marlins hitting 219 versus righties um, and 238 versus lefties over the last 10 games. You know, the thing is, they've hit right-handed pitching actually better than this all season long, hitting at 232. But as a team, hitting just 224 over their last 10, and the White Sox at 245. Like I said, these are my two favorite teams, which always makes it a little tough. But at the same time, yeah, I like I like making money more than I like either of these teams. And I'm sure they like making money more than they like me too, or at least care about me. That's the way baseball is as a business. But anyways, I think I'm going to roll with the White Sox, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and it'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.